very carefully along the baby's head. Getting to grips with the latest innovation in obstetrics. This is very difficult. Her name is Desperate Deborah, a first of its kind simulator training doctors here at London's St. Thomas's Hospital in dealing with late stage emergency caesareans. The lifelike pregnancy simulator replicates a real woman in distress during a procedure that affects around 20,000 births a year in Britain. Lots of gel is needed. Professor Andrew Shannon is part of the team who developed Desperate Deborah, so named to reflect the potential seriousness of her situation. Mannequin with lots of gel. Across the board, maybe one in three women now are getting a caesarean, and a majority of those are emergency, meaning they're done during labour. And frequently they're done at night when senior doctors aren't always available. Nicola Booston is one of the trainees learning firsthand what an emergency C-section entails. Having a simulation module where you can practice it um, in a very safe environment I think is a, a great thing because that situation definitely does arise where junior doctors haven't got the support around them that they need and they're in a difficult situation. Desperate Deborah simulates how a baby's head may get stuck in the pelvis because the mother is in the advanced stages of labour. The head needs to first be freed from impaction in the pelvis before delivery. But the sheer force needed carries the risk of injuring both mother and baby. OK, so that was on the easier setting. <laughs> It's, it's really hard work. I don't know if you can see my arm shaking on the camera. Um, but it was, I felt a bit like my fingers might break. Um, and my arm was quite tired. I don't think I could do it more than a couple of times. We came up with this design and everybody was happy with the way it looked, the way it felt, the, the touch, the feel. Gabriel Ogwo from manufacturers Adam Rooley says the difficulty of delivery can be adjusted by a series of levers and dials. The baby's head replicates the soft tissue of an infant skull, teaching the degree of force needed for freeing the baby without harming mother or child. Professor Shannon, who himself has delivered thousands of babies, says Desperate Deborah is a crucial training tool now more than ever with caesareans on the rise. Well, we know across the board that caesareans are increasing everywhere. And also, these difficult caesareans are increasing with a trend towards not attempting assisted vaginal deliveries. Um, so it, it doesn't matter where you go, where there are women having babies, this simulator has the potential to assist and aid, you know, safe practice. How did you find it? Difficult. I don't think it would be a very happy baby. <laughs> And with junior doctors able to get as much practice as they need, there's every expectation that Desperate Deborah will serve as an effective model for successful caesarean deliveries in the real world.